Edward the Martyr was born in 962 to King Edgar and his second wife, Alfred. His mother was a powerful queen who played a significant role in his life and reign. Edgar had been King of England since 959. When Edgar died in 975, his son Edward, who was only 12 years old, became king. This was a relatively young age to assume the throne, but it was not uncommon in Anglo-Saxon England for young princes to become king. Edward was crowned king at Kingston upon Thames in 975. His coronation was an important event, and it was attended by many of the leading nobles and churchmen of the kingdom. Edward's reign was marked by conflicts with his stepmother, Alfred, who had ambitions for her own son, Ethelred. There were tensions between Edward and his stepmother over the succession to the throne, and it is possible that she may have played a role in his eventual assassination. In 978, Edward was assassinated at Corfe Castle by his stepmother's supporters. The exact circumstances of his death are unclear, but it is thought that he was ambushed and killed while visiting Alfred and Ethelred. After his death, Edward was buried at Wareham in Dorset. His body was later moved to a more prominent location in the Church of St. Mary the Virgin in Shaftesbury. Edward's death was seen as a martyrdom, and he was later venerated as a saint. Many people believe that he had been killed for his piety and his refusal to compromise his faith. Many miracles were attributed to Edward's intercession, and he became a popular saint in England. He was said to have healed the sick, cured the blind, and protected people from harm. Edward's feast day is celebrated on March 18. This day is known as St. Edward's Day and is still marked by many churches and communities in England. Edward's reign was short, but he is remembered for his piety and devotion to the church. He was a devout Christian and was known for his generosity to the clergy and his support of monasticism. He was also known for his charitable works. He was said to have given generously to the poor and to have distributed alms to those in need. Edward's reign saw the minting of English coins at York and Lincoln. These coins were known as pennies, and were based on a standard introduced by King Offer of Mercia in the 8th century. He was a patron of the arts, and many illuminated manuscripts were produced during his reign. These manuscripts were richly decorated with illustrations and were highly prized by the church and the nobility. Edward's reign was also marked by Viking raids, particularly in the north of England. The Vikings were a constant threat during the Anglo-Saxon period, and Edward had to deal with several incursions during his reign. After Edward's death, he was succeeded by his half-brother, Ethelred, who was only 10 years old at the time. Ethelred's reign was marked by further Viking attacks and was generally regarded as a period of decline for England. Edward's death led to a power struggle between the supporters of Ethelred and those who favoured the claims of Edward's younger half-brother, Alfred. Alfred was also a son of King Edgar but was considered ineligible for the throne because he was born to a different mother than Edward and Ethelred. However, there were some who believed that he should be king instead of Ethelred. The conflict over the succession led to a period of instability and violence in England. There were several rebellions and uprisings, and the country was frequently at war with its neighbours. The political instability also weakened the country's defences against Viking attacks. The Vikings took advantage of the turmoil to launch more raids and eventually established a base in northern England. Despite the difficulties of his reign, Edward remained a popular figure in England. His death was widely mourned, and many people continued to venerate him as a saint. In the centuries after his death, Edward's cult continued to grow. He was regarded as a symbol of England's Christian identity and was seen as a martyr for the faith. His story was retold in countless works of literature and art, and he became one of the most beloved and revered figures in English history. Today, he is still remembered as a saint and a martyr, and his legacy continues to inspire people around the world.